Welcome kindergartners. This is week one, lesson five. Hi, here are some things that you can do daily to strengthen your literacy skills. Watch the alphabet chant video every day. Read the decodable reader for the week. Practice your high frequency word list. Read for 20 minutes and complete a reading log entry. And don't forget to practice your handwriting too. Practice writing your letters A to Z, writing high frequency words, CBC words, and also short and simple sentences. Hi friends, my name is Miss White and I will be your teacher today. I am so excited to be working with you today and I wanna give you two big huge thumbs up for doing this lesson with me today. We're gonna to have so much fun and I am so ready to get started, are you? Okay, let's go. First, we're gonna start our lesson with a song. If you know the words, sing along with me. Sit down and come together, together, together. Sit down and come together, together right now. It's time to practice sounds and blend them together. Let's practice our high frequency words and write them down. Great job singing, let's begin. Okay, you're my high frequency word experts. What's this word? Great job. The word in the box is or. What's this word again? Or. Great job. When you see this word, you will say or. Awesome job. Now, let's read this word like we were monsters. What's this word? Or. Great job. Now let's practice reading this word together. I'll start. Or. Awesome job. Way to read our high frequency word, or. Let's see which one is next. Now it's time for our next word. What's the word in this box? Great job. This word is for. Read the word with me. For. Now let's read the word like we were little babies. Four. Great job reading the word. Now let's practice reading the word together. You start. Awesome. Four. Great job reading our high frequency word. Four. Awesome. High five. We have one more high frequency word left. Let's go. It's time to practice reading our next word. So let's begin. Look at the letters in the box and repeat after me. R, A, T. When we blend these sounds together, they make the word rot. Now you try on your own. Let's go. R, A, T. Great job. When we blend these sounds together, what word do they make? Rot. Great job, high five. Now it's time to practice them. Start stretching your fingers. Oh no, I am so sad. This is the last word that we're going to be reading and writing together. <sighs> well, you all have done an excellent job. I really, really hope that you kissed your brains last time and that you're still ready to read this last word. Let's get started. Look at the letters in the box and repeat after me. Now I wonder who can tell me what these sounds make when we blend them together. What word is this? Sip. Sip. Great job blending these sounds. Now let's practice on your own. Get ready. Wow, great job saying each sound. Now let's put them together to make the word sip. Fantastic, let's try one more time tapping on our arms. Sip. Sip. Fantastic blending. I am so proud of you. 
Let's get ready to write one last time. Let's take this time to take a five second wiggle break before we start our lesson. Let's go. Shake your hands, shake them faster, shake your arms, shake them faster, shake your head, shake your body, and we're ready to learn. Let's go. I'm so excited that you're still here learning with me today. Our lesson for today is on chaining. We've been doing a lot of practice with reading short O words, and now we're going to practice switching out the sounds to figure out new words that we can read. Are you ready? Great, let's go. It's time for us to start a new activity, but first, let's start with a song. If you know the words, sing along with me. We can say a new word by changing one sound. Replace s with r, turning sound into round. We can change sounds at the beginning, the middle, or end. Then say our new word, remember to blend. It's time for us to start blending and changing sounds. I hope you're ready. Let's go. For this part of our lesson, we have two new learning targets. Our first one is I can identify the phoneme or sound at the beginning and end of a word. Our second learning target is that we can change the phoneme or sound at the beginning or end of a word to make a new word. So what does that mean? We're going to be looking at the sounds at the beginning and ends of words. So we're going to be paying very close attention to what sound is at the beginning of the word and what sound is at the end of the word. And then we're going to practice changing the sounds at the beginning or end to help us make a new word. I am so excited to start this with you. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. So for this part of the lesson, we are going to be using letters and soundboards to help us make and read words. For example, if I had the word rod, how many sounds do you hear in the word rod? Let's tap it out together. R, a, d. How many sounds do you hear? Three. Great job. So let's look at our soundboard. Why do you think we have three boxes in our soundboard? Great, there's one box for each sound that we hear. So if we tap out the word rod, rod, I'm going to put one letter in each box for each sound that we hear. Watch. What's the first sound in rod? Good. What's our next sound? Ah, great job. And what's our last sound in rod? D. Great job. We've used the sounds that we hear to help us spell the word rod. Now it's time for us to practice blending these sounds together to read the word. Let's tap the sounds out. R, a, D. Rod. Great job helping me read and write the word rod. Now, if you have your own piece of paper, try and read and write the word rod on your own. I'll give you some time to do that. Great job writing the word rod. If your word rod looks like my board, or this word on the screen, give yourself a round of applause. You did an awesome job reading and writing the word rod. Now we're going to make a new word, but we're not going to erase the whole word. Instead, we're going to change one sound, just like we did at the beginning of the lesson. So now I want to change d, d in rod to So what am I going to change? The beginning, the middle, or the end? 
The end. Great job. And I'm going to change it from d to t. t. What letter makes that sound? Great job, the letter T. So we're going to erase our d sound in rod and change it to the t, t sound. I'll give you some time to do that on your own. Great job changing the letters in your word. So now your word should look like this, but we don't know what word it is. So now let's practice blending these sounds to help us read this new word. Here we go. Put your finger under each letter as you read them, just like we did at the beginning of the lesson. R, A, T. Let's practice that again. R, Rot. One more time. Rot. What's our new word? Rot. Great job reading this new word. Give yourself a pat on the back. You did such an awesome job at listening to the sounds as you were blending them together to help you read this word. Now, we're going to change this word one more time. This time, we're going to change r to n. So what am I changing, the beginning, the middle, or the end? Good job, r is at the beginning of this word. Now, what am I going to change it to? Great job, I'm going to change the r to an n. So let's do that. We're gonna change r to Mm. I'll give you some time to do that on your own. Great job. So now that we have changed the sound, it's time for us to blend to help us read the words. Remember, put your finger under each letter as you read it. Let's begin. N -a Let's try that one more time. N -a -t. When we blend these sounds together, what's our word? Not. Awesome job listening to the sounds that you heard while you blended these word letters together. Great job. Let's keep practicing. Now we're going to change the beginning sound from n to s. So let's do that. So we're gonna take away the n. Mm. Remember, we don't have to erase the whole word. We're just changing one sound. And we've erased the n, mm, and we're changing it to a great job, an S. The letter S makes the s sound. Now it's time for us to blend these sounds together. Let's go. S, a, t. Let's try that again. S, a, t. When we blend these sounds together, s, a, t, what's our new word? Sot. Great job listening to the sounds that you had while you were blending this word. This new word is sot. You all are such great readers and writers. Are you ready to keep going? Great, let's give our hands a little break. Let's stretch them out. Let's give our brains a little break. Let's shake them out and let's keep going. Now, I want to change the t in sot to a b. What am I changing? Great, I'm gonna change this T, and what am I gonna change the T to? Good job, the letter B. So let's erase our letter T. We're changing T to the letter B. 
B. And remember, we practiced how to write all of our letters at the beginning of the lesson. So I want you to make sure that you are doing your best writing. Now it's time for us to blend these words, these letters together. Let's go. Remember, your finger is under each letter as you read it. Blend with me. A, B. Let's do that again. S, A, B. What's our new word? Sob. Great job. Our new word is sob. I am so impressed by how well you are doing with listening to the sounds that you hear to change the word and to read the new word. You are doing an excellent job and you should be feeling so proud of yourself. Now, we're going to change this word one more time. We're going to change the s to a m. Mm. So who can tell me, is s at the beginning, the middle, or the end of this word? Great job, s is at the beginning. So we're gonna change our s to an m. Mm. What letter am I changing this to? M, great job. So let's practice that. Let's take away our s and change it to a m. Mm. Mmm. Great job writing. I love that you are paying very close attention to how you are writing your letters to make sure that you're writing them correctly. Awesome job. Now it's time for us to blend our word together again. Let's go. Mmm. Ah. B. Mmm. Ah. B. What's our new word? Mob. Mob. Great job reading the new word. High five. You are doing an excellent job. You are such a great reader. Let's keep practicing. Now I want to change mob. I want to change the b in mob to a p. What sound am I changing? Oh, the B! What am I changing the B to? Great job. I'm changing the letter B to a letter P for the P, -p sound. So let's do that together. M, A, P. Hmm. I wonder what our new word is. Let's practice reading it. M, mm. A, ah. P. Let's practice again. M, mm. A, ah. P. When we blend these sounds together, what's our new word? Mop. Awesome job, high five. Okay, let's keep going. This time, I wanna change the M to a B. Who can tell me what I'm going to be changing? Awesome job, I'm going to change this M to a B. Let's do that. Great job writing, friends. Now it's time for us to practice reading this word. Let's go. B. A. P. 
Let's practice that again. Ah, uh, p. When we blend these sounds together, what word do they make? Bop. Great job. Our new word is bop. Give yourselves a pat on the back. You are doing an excellent job reading these words. Now, we're going to change this word one final time. So this time, I'm going to ask you to change it and then I will help you with what our new word is. I want to change the b to a p in this word. I'm going to give you some time to do that on your own. We are changing b to p. Hold up your papers when you're ready. Oh, I love everyone's ideas so far. You all are doing an excellent job. So b, we are going to change this B to a P. 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 Excellent job writing our new word. Now, it's time to blend one last time. I'm going to give you some time to blend on your own and then we'll blend together. Remember to point to each letter as you read it. Okay, let's blend together. P, A, P. What's our new word? Pop, excellent job, high five. Give yourselves a round of applause. You did such an awesome job with our chaining activity. Now it's time for our independent work. I hope that you have your distance learning packet by you. If not, pause this video and grab your packet. Please turn to page 26 in your packet to find today's activity. Your page 26 should look like this. Today we will continue to practice chaining on our own. Your job on this page is to use the letters at the top to help you create new words. The words that you will be chaining are mop, hop, cob, and jog. After you've created your new words, write those words on the lines at the bottom of the page. Now it's time for us to think about our learning today. We did so much today and I want you to just give your brains so much love because you worked so hard. So what did we do today that helped you become a better reader? We read, yes, very good. We did a lot of writing, you are right. We did so much writing. We blended our words together, awesome job. I love all of these ideas that you have. Well, you all did an excellent job and I am so happy that you came to learn with me today. I am looking forward to seeing you again next time and I hope you have an awesome day. See you soon. Goodbye.